Hello everyone, welcome to Edutop and welcome to Finance Current Affairs session. In today's session, we are going to discuss two very important news articles of finance. The first news article is regarding the Reserve Bank of India that has shortlisted seven consultancy firms for the AI, for the artificial intelligence to improve the regulatory supervision. So what has happened that in September 2022, the RBI released a document. Okay, so what is this document? What was specified in that and how these seven consultancy firms were shortlisted? Which consultancy firms are these? So all of this we are going to discuss in today's session and let me tell you that it is very important for you to have the clarity regarding this news article. Okay, the second news article is very unique for the first time. For the first time it has happened that a sticker based debit card has been launched. So what is the name? Here you can see the name of this debit card as well as IDFC First Bank has launched it with collaboration of which organization and what is so unique about this sticker based debit card through now through the water bottle also you will be able to pay how so all of this we are going to discuss in today's session but before starting with this very interesting session there is a big announcement from edutab that we have brought for you the comprehensive guide for rbi nabad and sepi so through a single guidebook you can get all your common queries answered that is regarding the examination what is the pattern for the exam what are the previous year cutoff for the exam what is the syllabus for the exam all of your common queries can be answered through a single guidebook you do not have to visit different links you do not have to visit different websites through a single guidebook you can understand about your preparation also that what should be the strategy for the preparation what should be the sources for the preparation even if you want to know about the organization about your position that what you will be doing all of these information can be provided through a single guidebook and this is absolutely free of cost to save your time to save your effort so that you can put more time in the preparation okay so do download this guidebook the you can download it very easily the link is given in the description box below so do download this guidebook this is going to enhance the level of your understanding for the examination and preparation so now moving forward to our first news article for today that is regarding the RBI that has shortlisted seven global consultancy firms. First of all, what you have to remember is that that why these have been selected okay because rbi wants to because rbi wants to use the ai that is the artificial intelligence and machine learning for the supervisory functions for the supervision the rbi wants to have the ai and machine learning okay so this is the aim that you have to remember that why the seven consultancy firms have been shortlisted the rbi is looking to extensively use the advanced analytics the ai and machine learning to analyze its huge database now the reserve bank of india is is the one that manages the financial institutions in our country. There are many MBFCs that are under the Reserve Bank of India. The banks are there that are under the Reserve Bank of India. The CICs, the credit information companies are there, the IFEs, the, the IFEs or India financial institutions are there that are under the Reserve Bank of India and Reserve Bank of India has huge database. Now how to manage that database, how to extract important information from that database. So RBI wants to have a better AI and machine learning to do that and improve regulatory supervision over the banks and the NBFCs and for this purse, uh, purpose the central bank that is the Reserve Bank of India plans to hire external experts and for that the seven consultancy firms have been hired. Now I was telling you about a document that RBI has released the document RBI document in September 2022 in which the whole process was written that how it will happen okay. So the According to RBI document, the central bank has shortlisted seven applicants. So here you can see the document. This was the document that was released by the Reserve Bank of India. Remember, this is the document that was released under the Department of Supervision. Okay, because we are talking about supervising. So this is the document that was released under the Department of Supervision, Reserve Bank of India. So in this document, it was written. Uh, it was the document regarding the expression of interest for engaging consultants for use of advanced analytics ai and machine learning for generating supervisory input so here you can see that this is the document that was released in september 2022 by the department of supervision in which it was said that the expression of interest will be asked will be invited from the consultants and why for the artificial intelligence and machine learning and so 
and uh, now the department of supervision said that the intends to engage the services of consultants so department of supervision said that we want to engage the servicing services of consultants so that the ai is there the machine learning is there for the better supervision for the better regulations okay the bank invites now the reserve bank of india has invited the expression of interest for selection of entity for the proposed work now the consultants have to be hired okay and uh, the rbi said that we are inviting the expression of interest from those all expression of interest that was sent by different consultancy firms by many consultancy firms these seven were chosen okay the seven were chosen these seven firms were chosen so now you can understand that in september 2022 this documents was released in which it was said that we are asking we are inviting we are inviting the expression of interest from the consultancy firms for the proposed work of an advanced analytics ai and machine learning and the uh, many firms sent their eoi expression of interest okay now based on the work experience based on the projects that they have handled based on the pro uh, professionals that they have these seven firms were chosen and these seven firms are the top firms in the world okay this now the seven firms you have to remember the name also the essential solutions private limited then there is the boston consulting group private limited then there is the deloitte touch tomasto india limited then there is ernst and young limited llp sorry uh, kpmg assurance and consulting services then there is mckinsey and company and then there is the price water house cop coopers that is also known as pw see this is among the top 5 or top 4 we can say so i hope now you have uh, understood the document was released the rbi asked for the expression of interest that we are interested we are interested in this project and many firms sent their expression of interest that we are interested but out of those many firms only seven firms were chosen that were the top firms okay so now in the document it was said that the central bank has shortlisted seven applicants based on the expression of interest based on the expression of interest for participating in the request for proposal process so now after these seven applicants have been chosen now what will happen that the request for proposal process will happen that is what is this rfp what is this request for proposal see request for proposal is a document okay it is a document in which the organization announces a project okay describes it okay that we want this kind of project we want ai and machine learning for the supervision process okay so in this document the project has been announced uh, the project has been described and solicits bids from the qualified contractors here the they are the qualified consultants to complete it so what is the rfp the rfp is the rbi has released the document in which the rbi has said that this will be the project and uh, this is how we will be moving forward okay so participating now these seven firms have to reply on this request for proposal so all the bidders that is all the consultants that is participating in the rfp these are the seven consultants they have to acquire a minimum qualifying marks on the technical proposal now the rbi has said okay the rbi has said that this will be the project and now the firms the consultants will give the technical proposal that we will move forward on these lines we will develop this kind of ai we will develop this kind of uh, uh, machine learning then this technical proposal will be evaluated and if the technical proposal is good it is very good then it will be selected the qualifying marks is 70% then the technical proposal will be selected and when the technical proposal has been selected then the financial proposal will be seen that what is the cost that is first the quality is being checked by the reserve bank of india that the proposal has good quality that this can be developed and we can move forward with this ai and ml after seeing the quality after giving uh, 70% of the minimum marks that the quality is good then the financial proposal will be seen then the cost of that project will be seen and based on the cost then the uh, top 2 will be chosen or top 1 will be chosen the top 2 highest scoring total scoring consultants total scoring means that 80 marks they have to like 80 marks is for the quality and the 20 marks is for the cost okay so the seeing the total scoring consultants the top 2 will be chosen okay so the technical process i hope the technical proposal will be given when the technical proposal has got the minimum qualifying marks then only like let's say uh, out of 7 only 5 has got good technical proposal so these 5 
will be uh, bidding they will be providing their cost that i am i will make this ai i will make this uh, ml in let's say 1 uh, 100 crores i will make this ai ml in 50 crores so they will be bidding they will be providing with the cost uh, analysis in the financial proposal and now on the basis of the quality and on the basis of the cost top two will be chosen and a panel will be formed in which the specific assignments will be given to the um, based on the area of expertise so this is the complete process of the uh, of the seven consultancy firms that what will happen in the future what will happen in the going on process uh, rfp will be created by the rbi based on the rfp the uh, firms will be creating the technical proposal uh, after the technical proposal is selected if it is selected then only they will be providing their financial proposal based on the quality and the cost that is based on the technical proposal and based on the uh, financial proposal then they will be uh, choosing the rbi will be choosing the top two or it can be if the top two is not there top one will be selected for the working in the AI and ML. Okay. So technical proposal evaluate like uh, clearing the technical proposal is a must then only you can move forward to financial proposal. So I hope you have understood the whole of the process and the, while the RBI is already using AI and ML, the RBI wants to have more of the analytical process more it, instant, it intends to upscale it to ensure that the benefits of advanced analytics the benefits of the AI and ML can reach to the a department of supervision in the central bank okay so department of supervision has already been developing linear models it has already been developing few machine learned models for supervisory examinations but now the rbi wants to upgrade it uh, rbi wants to upscale it okay so the supervisory jurisdiction of the rbi extends over to banks that is the urban cooperative banks are there the nbfcs are under the jurisdiction of rbi the payment banks are under the jurisdiction of the reserve bank of india small finance bank local area banks the credit information companies and select all india financial institutions these all are under the supervisory jurisdiction of the rbi and it is the department of supervision that has to analyze the data that has to provide the regulatory and supervisory actions for these so you can understand that it is a very big task there are so many big organizations that are uh, here okay that are uh, regulated by the reserve bank of india so it becomes a tedious task and that's why the ai and ml are needed and for that the seven consultancy firms are chosen from which only two or only one will be chosen for further project uh, doing okay it undertakes now the rbi undertakes supervision of these entities with the objective of accessing their financial soundness okay so the rbi is the one that checks the department of supervision has the work to check the financial soundness the solvency the asset quality for which the data has been given like the crar this much crr has to be met nps should be less than this so all of this uh, has been defined by the rbi okay so there was the scale based regulatory framework that was released by the RBI, the PCA framework, the prompt corrective action framework, all of this has been released by the RBI to provide the um, uh, markings we can say, to provide a, a minimum basis or maximum basis, okay, that NP should not go beyond this, the CRA should be minimum at least this. So governance framework, liquidity and operational viability to protect the depositors interest and financial stability so all of this is seen by the reserve bank of india so that the financial system of our country the monetary system of our country can work very well the rbi undertakes continuous supervision of uh, the selected entities or we can say the regulated entities okay with the help of on-site inspection the rbi does the on-site inspection like a bank is saying that we are converting into a full digital mode so that is actually happening or not so the on-site uh, on-site inspections and off-site monitoring also happens off-site monitoring means that uh, from like uh, in the rbi office they are checking the data that the data is correct or not the crr is maintained the slr is maintained or not the crar and the npas are what so the on-site monitoring is also there when the rbi goes the uh, people goes from the rbi to the offices to the banks to the mbfcs to check that what they are claiming is happening or not and the off-site monitoring is also there now we can move to the second news article that is idfc first bank has launched the sticker based debit card so the idfc first bank has launched the first tap you have to remember the name the first first tap this is the name of the sticker based 
debit card what you can do you can stick tap and pay that is easy okay so what is happening that this is in association with the national payments corporation of india so the idfc first bank has launched the first app in association in collaboration with the npci to facilitate transactions by simply tapping in the point of sale terminal so you can understand that just by tapping you can pay okay so the sticker based debit card is one third the size of the regular debit card it is very small okay so it is easier to carry it is easier to maintain thus making the sticker applicable on a wide range of devices and what happens that you can stick it to any device you can stick it into the water bottles you can stick it on your laptop you can stick it on your airpods uh, cases so you can stick it anywhere on the wide range of devices and objects and significantly enhancing the customer convenience so you can directly stick it and use it okay so i will show you the picture so that you better understand that but i hope you have understood that the idfc first bank has launched the first sticker based debit card okay it is a big change that has come in the banking sector a big development that has come in the banking sector now through the water bottles you will be paying your money okay through the debit card that is stick on the wide range of devices okay on your airport cases also you can stick the debit card it is two it is one third in size okay the idfc first bank sticker debit card comes with a complimentary personal accidental cover so that you are safe from the accidents if your sticker is uh, sticker is uh, stolen or something so the accidental cover is also provided and it is touch free way to pay enables payments in seconds for transactions up to 5000 so what you can do you can directly use this the wifi one is available so directly you can tap your water bottle on the payment point of terminal sale and the payment will be taken up to 5000 you can directly tap and pay okay then if the payment is above 5000 then you have to put a pin you have to tap the uh, sticker like let's say there is a sticker here you have to tap the sticker on the uh, point of sale and then you have to put the pin also so for you have to remember this very very well that it is like 5000 up to 5000 you can pay without pin but above 5000 you have to put the pin also okay so now you can see this is the picture that i wanted to show you that introducing india's first sticker based debit card by the idfc first bank the name is first tap okay so here you can stick it to the water bottle you can stick it to the airport case you can stick it to the laptop you can stick it to your lunch box or something and you can just tap it and pay the small amount of uh, less than 5000 you can just tap and pay and it comes very easy like even if you are going for the jogging and you do not want to carry your mobile you are only carrying your airports uh, or i pod or something and you are carrying the water bottle then you find something that you want to buy you can directly pay through your water bottle through sticking this sticker debit card okay so it becomes very easy now you do not even have to carry the debit card you do not have to carry the mobile phone you can just have this sticker based debit card okay so the customers can affix the sticker based debit card on uh, the cell phones identity cards wallets tabs airport cases etc so the object can be used to tap and pay directly you can tap and pay uh, it is it can be used on the variable devices such as watches rings or entering a upi pin after scanning a qr code so you do not have to do that you do not have to put a upi pin for uh, payments less than 5000 okay so the complex uh, the idfc first bank has said that the contactless payment has a new name and it is first app it is india's first sticker based debit card which is launched in collaboration with npci just stick it on any daily use object and you can pay in seconds just tap and pay you do not even have to put the pin for less than 5000 of the payments okay of the money so i hope you have understood this news article very clearly now why it is important because direct questions can come that what is the name of this debit card who has launched it in collaboration of what and what is the use of this what are the features of this it is one third of the size of the original debit cards okay so now i hope you can easily answer this question that is how many have been chosen has been shortlisted based on the expression of interest okay next is which department is engaged in the whole of the process in the releasing of the document in september 2022 uh, for the eoi document that has been released okay now you have to name the uh, debit card that has been launched the first sticker based debit card that has been launched i hope you can easily name it okay so these were the people that gave the right answer of the previous session question it was anand black shadow abhilash himanshu aarti yash rishav nilesh rivanshi thank you everyone thank you so much for replying and giving the right answers
and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Telegram channel for the PDF of this session. And you can mail us here or contact us through this number. Okay. So thank you very much.